Hi and welcome to Historical. We're going to finally take this Space Invaders project which has been sitting on this breadboard for some time and mount it more permanently, as you can see, onto some strip board. Let's get started. Is that it? <sighs> so, we're going to use a piece of 30 by 30 whole strip board. No, strip board has copper running in tracks on one side as opposed to perf board which does not and just has copper holes. It's easily cut by scoring with a craft knife and then just snapping. Note that they sell strip board in 30 hole widths which means we don't have to make too many cuts. With the board cut to size we need to cut some tracks to stop some elements of the circuit design from shorting together. And I use the supplied diagram which I've printed out which shows where to make those cuts on the track side. I use a purpose built strip board track cutting tool. A couple of turns is all it takes. You can use a craft knife if you don't have one of these or perhaps a drill bit but these do make the job far easier. To ensure all tracks are correctly cut I check for continuity and of course there should be no connection. This could be done using a magnifying glass if you wished and maybe even quicker. I then turn over the board and it will match the second diagram that shows where to add the additional jumper wires. Cut and strip each wire to length and take care to insert it into the correct position on the breadboard. I've used red for supply voltage, black for ground and blue for anything else. Just need to turn over and solder the connections. With all the wires added and double check the correctness, we can move on to the actual component. Again, staying on the same side of the board as the wires, we'll start to add and test them. We'll start with the Arduino Nano, taking special, extra special care to position it in the exact position as shown on the third diagram. Getting this wrong could easily destroy your Nano. Once in position, I solder just the connections required for this project and the rest I leave alone. I then add the OLED screen and solder that up too. As this particular nano is one I've used on the breadboard, breadboard for Space Invaders, then all it needs to test it is to connect the power and we should get a display. Cool, works. Let's have the control buttons. You must take care to orientate them the correct way. On the bottom of most of these switches I've come across, there are lines that show which pins are permanently connected together, and the ones that are not are the ones that will connect when we press the button. As we've connected the fire button, we can test by pressing and see how it starts again. Thank you, it does. We can put the other two buttons on now and we'll test them. And the test reveals that the left direction button isn't working. I'm looking at the design, I've made a mistake. Ah, and this shit wire should be moved further up. In the end, although that's what I do here, I make a little bodge, I actually changed the design and it has been corrected on the, on the website at www.extronical.com. So the version of the printout you will do from there is perfectly correct. So a quick footage now and a retest. Let's add the sound next, starting with the PAM8403 order amplifier module, whack that in, then the resistors, taking care, as I need to keep telling you this, but to put the right valves in the right places, else things aren't quite are going to quite work correctly. And then volume control, we're nearly there, which I've decided to mount differently than what I've shown the natural diagram. Again, the diagram has now been changed on the website. And finally, we'll mount the speaker. And this speaker is actually oversized. It's not the one I was originally going to put on this project. I'm still waiting that to be delivered. But this one's got pretty much the same specs, so I'll put it on. But later on, I will change it for a smaller one. So one final test. <laughs> Whoa, it works. Cool. Now for some hot glue to fix that speaker and other things in final place. So that's that project done. 
there's not much else I'm going to do with it now. At some point, I will design an actual uh, proper printed circuit board. But hope that video's been of interest. And that's it for now. Catch you next time. So if you like that video, hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And the notification bell, make sure you get all the videos. And if you're that kind of sharing person, hit that sharing button. For a bit of laziness, if you want to subscribe, look at the arrow, click on that icon, and it'll subscribe you. I haven't even scrolled down or anything like that. Is that it for this outro now? Yeah, I think so. Good.